picking to Kian Viana manager Brad Wellman from today's 1 0 defeat against Folkestone in Vixer. Brad, after the highs of winning last week, what did you make of that? To be honest with you, I thought first half we was terrible. Um, I think that uh, it was uh, for as bad as we were, we was very lucky to come in at 0 0. And, and to be honest, against a team that hadn't really created much on us. So for as poor as we were, we were still in the game and I felt that second half we could uh, we could have a go at them. And, uh, and I think we did in the second half. I think on, in terms of possession and territorial advantage, maybe we was the better team. Um, but I don't win your games. And it's a, a, a set piece, just a routine set piece. That, that, that it's, I think it's an own goal in the end. But uh, yeah, disappointing. Disappointing because I felt that uh, we let ourselves down today as a team. We go one nil down fairly early, plenty of time to get back in the game. Do you think we were we huffed and puffed, but just struggled? Other than maybe a Chris Harris header towards the end of the game, do you think we just maybe struggled to really put t- as much pressure on the keeper as we would have liked? Yeah, I do, but I think the keeper also come and took three or four really good crosses, which sort of takes it out of you a little bit. But um, you know, I, I just felt that uh, I think it's our decision making. You know, it, it's. When we, you know, I spoke to him at half time and said to him that uh, final third of the pitch, I'm not interested in pretty football. I'm interested in shots, balls into the box, or combination play to try and open up, open things up. And we didn't do it. We turned down opportunities to cross the ball. We turned down shots, and and unfortunately, you know, we can give so much from the sideline. They're playing the game, so I just think our decision making needed to be a lot better as a team. You know, I mean, if you're looking, when you look at the whole game. Uh, how many times did we give the ball away needlessly because we weren't brave enough to keep possession? How many times did we miss kick balls? Yeah, so it all comes down to decision making, and that's the difference between being a good player and a great player. So we are hovering above the relegation places. It is still fairly early days, but does being there does it does it concern you yet, or are you still fairly optimistic about what we can push on and do? It don't concern me. I think you just got to look at the teams that are around us. Do you know what I mean? There's some there's some big teams around us that, that are down there. I think you. It, um, it's only 10 games into the season, you know, you're not going to really sort of, uh, it, 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 it's not decided after 10 games, it's number 38 games, you know, and, and like we found when we made it in the playoffs, I think we, we lost once in 21 games after Christmas, so I'm not worried about that, um, you know, it, it's just, uh, we've just got to keep working hard and keep believing, and I think that that's the, that as long as we maintain that within the squad, then uh, I think we'll be okay, you know. As we said last Saturday, we haven't won a home league game yet. We have a chance to write that on Tuesday night against Carl Shorten. Um, what do you make of that? How important will it be to sort of get that off our back, get that statistic done with and get that home win? Um, yeah, I think it is important. Obviously, you you don't want to lose your games at home. But I think that when I look at our performances at home, they've not been bad. Um, you know, I think back to Wingate 3-2 last minute, Dulwich 3-2 last minute. 4-4 Cray, um, you know, we, we it's not like we've been paying poor at home. Look at today, you know, we might have been poor, but they've not come in and smashed us out of the park. We've had just as many opportunities as they have. Um, I think it's just a case of just trying to get that that statistic off your back and 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 hopefully the, the quicker we can do it, the better. But, um, you know, we, we just all need to be firing and, and, you know, we've seen how exciting the games are under the lights on Tuesday night and hopefully we can... We can stay with it, you know, because the boys are working hard and, and management's working hard. And, you know, it's, it's frustrating at times with, with some things that are sort of going on around the place. But um, we'll just keep working hard and, and, and we'll keep trying to get results. And we've shown what we've been like the last five or six sort of games, the togetherness we've got. Uh, I think we we three or four out of six, do you know what I mean? So nothing to be worried about on our part. It's just, just got to keep going and keep trying to... Uh, to, to get that, that three points and you know hopefully it'll come Tuesday and, and then we can kick on again. Nice one, thank you Brad. Cheers sir, thank you.